Bah ça va pas, mon microphone was not working uh, first uh, clip uh, que j'ai fait, donc uh, il faut que je revoice everything by myself, by my voice, but doesn't matter, I'll do that, let's start. Bonjour à tous et à toutes, je montre deux, et du coup je suis très excité d'aller à mon voyage, vous, vous le voyez, et du coup je, je quitte ma chambre, je ouvre la porte, je le ferme après, euh, du coup je le ferme pas, j'essaie de le fermer parce que mon sac est trop grand, finalement je le réussi et je fais du bruit de la porte euh, quand elle ferme, euh, scratch, 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 et je suis parti. Euh, et ici, je, il y a du bruit de la marche, slup, 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 slup. Oh, je suis fatigué. Euh, ici, je n'ai qu'une idée de quoi je parle, mais je vous assure que c'est une histoire de qualité. En parallèle, il y a du bruit de rue et de vie. Choquant, cri, euh, c'est désagréable, etc. Euh, je vais mettre le bruit de vague ici parce que ça reflète mieux mon humeur. Hey guys, so we're ready, we're packed and we're ready to start our hitchhiking trip. So the biggest problem of the hitchhiking in the city is to get out of the city and we did it uh, with, the, with the help of our good friend. Merci beaucoup uh, pour votre aide, Madame Professeur. And now uh, we're gonna start our hitchhiking trip here. We're going to northern Greece and um, let's start.
was just cave diving here. And remember, do not cave dive alone. But maybe you'll have one question, how did I get there in the cave? And this is a very good question because we were stooking by a guy and, and he brought us to the, his bungalow thing. And now just, just see which beautiful country we are in. The beautiful side. Let's take a look where we are living today. So, as you see, here are uh, our backpacks. My bed is already ready for sleep. I have my sleeping bag, my matela, and here we have also like two places to sleep. It's really nice though. This has no mosquitoes because it has a net. So that will be for today, our place to sleep. Here lives an Italian artist who took us and permitted to stay here for some time. He is a very interesting person with a wide background, what he explains in his video film. With him we had some existential discussions about the freedom, happiness and relationships with other people. For him, happiness is not the ultimate goal of living and even more is proposed for us by the society and by the need to be happy as to be successful so other people could appreciate our personality and our money. For him, the goal is to be in the peace with himself and the void inside with each person. This is a kitchen. This is a shower. This is a cat. Uh, so in the evening we decided to go in the abandoned Rutraki, the hot springs, to take a bath. Uh, so in the past it was a hotel what stopped functioning and now there is nothing from it. Just the forest, springs and the houses. Our guide explained that nowadays there are some people who live there, kind of a hippies all over the Europe, who live without electricity and any devices. They live here for some time and then they change uh, location. Uh, for us it was a nice place to be except that it was crowded by people and some of them was really suspicious ones. Like that and grab itself. Yeah. So when it goes, it, go, it, it starts growing, right? And if you put like a stick here and the plant is here and it grows 
just where the where the stick is. It, like if he can see where uh -huh. the stick is, and it will grab itself from the stick. It's it's, it's incredible. So today we decided to go a little bit of hiking on the mountain and we'll go back to our camp in the evening. Hiking trail is kind of like 15 kilometers, but we'll not be taking the whole of the all of it. We'll just take a part and go back. And the guy, uh, he he will take us back to our camp then, or we're gonna hitchhike if to, if we'll find any car. But but now looks like there's not a lot of cars going. Uh, uh, back to the town from that hill so we'll see what we're gonna do Вот сейчас можно пережить осень, потому что обычно осень так быстро проходит, и она же не значит что-то плохое, что лето закончилось, и что надо идти на работу или на учебу. А сейчас такого чувства нету, потому что тебе никуда не нужно. И... Ну и можно посозерцать вот эти листья, как раньше, как в школе, знаешь. Когда только просто идешь, видишь, что листья такой, о, листья. У тебя нет такого ощущения? So we were hiking uh, over there and uh, we heard the sound of rifle, rifle shooting in the air. Uh, the guy was shouting from the far away from the forest. We didn't see him. There was also a dog barking and uh, sheep bells, sound of sheep bells. So I was thinking like what's happening over there. Do in the Greece they have a bears or do he tries to scare them away from the ships or etc and he was uh, shooting from the gun quite often like like 10 shoots i think and then we we're going 
further to find out what's happening and we found and we saw another guy with a rifle on the back and um, he didn't see us i i saw him so we just decided to go back to another direction from the guy with the rifle yeah look at that what i found skull the skull of the goat the teeth is actually not so bad and it's pretty yeah it's a bit uh, it's a bit dirty but like dirty just from the dirt not from the blood or like it's pretty dry on the sand so we can actually clean it out a bit and then take it with us so now we're went back from the hiking from the from the mountain and we're gonna go back to our camp and we need to to catch the ride actually so we'll try to do that here but there is like not so many cars it's pretty like ghost town ghost village but we'll try to do something like catching some car and hopefully we'll manage to get back Teşekkür ederim. Sorry. No problem. No, no. Thank you. Have a, have a nice trip. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. As we said, the, the most difficult part is to get out of the city. That's why we took the way we took a bus to get out from the Kavala and get to the highway to go back. Because the guys uh, they they left us in the place, which is pretty was like a middle of the city. So by walking, it would take us like half an hour to go back to highway and so we took the bus and it take us and it took us uh, less time so now we're gonna try to find another car hopefully there's a lot of cars going in our direction from Kavala because it's a big city okay okay Here now we need to go further, it's like 1 hour 30 by walking, we're hoping to find another car. Because the guys from Albania, I didn't really understand where they are going and they didn't really understand where we are going so they left us here near a lot of beach bars and hotels and we're because we're living on the beach which is also near the beach bar and I said that we're going to a beach bar so we are here in the other beach bars which we are not really need and the place for for stopping cars it's not pretty nice neither so we just walked back uh, that day and we reached the camp. Ta-da!